there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plain Straits of Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review Swamp Dogs number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Swamp Dogs number one. It is a Black Caravan comic, which is the Scout Comics Mature imprint. And it is by Brant, Procidus, Ball, Redmond, Wands, and Samalan. And we start off in a place called Land's End in Louisiana in 1865. And there are some Confederate soldiers on the run, but we're not sure from what. And as they run further into this swamp, we see that they get attacked by what looks like possibly zombie or ghost slaves. And then we cut to Baton Rouge, Louisiana now. And there's some sort of house party going on. We see a couple scenes of everybody that's at the party. Specifically, there's an African-American woman named Anya who's sitting on the couch looking fairly bored. So she goes upstairs and she goes into a bedroom, starts looking around and also decides she's gonna pass the time by herself on the bed. But she is interrupted by someone knocking on the door. And that someone is a girl who comes in named Violet and they begin talking and kind of flirting and they end up getting together and hooking up at this house party but then we cut to somewhere outside of the house in the area nearby where there is a homeless man walking with his dog in a cemetery and as the man's walking his dog roger gets super scared and begins to bark and the man trips and falls and smashes his face into an old confederate gravestone and when he did that his dog roger ran off he can't find him so the man gets up and he's kind of disoriented and he sees a door to walk into so he goes and he opens the door and that's where i'm gonna leave it i don't want to spoil anything else here so that was swamp dogs number one this one had a lot of promise i just like the way the cover looks and i liked where it started off with the whole zombies in the swamp but once we cut into the house party to to me, it just really slowed down. The whole middle of this book is mainly Anya and Violet talking and getting to know each other and also telling us, the reader, a bunch of exposition about each character. They tried to cut between the music sometimes to give it a little bit more variation in what was going on. And I mostly just felt like I really wanted more of the horror, less of the talking from the characters. I really liked the cover art by Robert Samelin and the interior art by Cooper Ball was really good as well, especially the zombie stuff. Whenever he would draw the zombie faces or the violent stuff that looks really good but overall this one did just kind of disappoint me because the whole middle of the book is basically just two characters with a big exposition dump and there's not really anything kind of horror tension built up during that time it's mostly just a sexual tension build up between the two characters until we cut to that homeless guy so like I said, I was disappointed with that. I wish they would have done some kind of intercutting of while they're building up sexual tension in that room, outside we're getting the horror tension built up by the homeless guy and Roger kind of walking in a spooky area, you know, something's going to happen. And then the tensions kind of rise together as each of those play out. Interestingly, I still want to read what happens next. I feel like because this one didn't give me enough of the story, it just kind of set up characters. I want to find out what happened with the horror stuff that's going on. So I do want to continue to issue two, and hopefully that will be more expanding with the horror plot rather than just the characters talking and exposition dumping. So I'm going to give this one a 2.5 out of five because the whole middle section is mostly talking. I couldn't give it a three, but like I said, I do want to keep reading it. I want to find out what happens and what's going on with the main horror story in this comic but i just feel like this first issue was kind of lackluster but that's just me your mileage may vary so if you saw anything you like definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store and we will see you all in the next one